hi uh, welcome to my channel in this video i will talk about how to export and import setup data through configuration packages first of all overview of setup data export and import that any implementation of fusion application usually requires migrating setup data from one environment to another either from gold to test instance then from test to productions else from test environment to production environment for example subscribed offering is typically set up in the test first and is moved to the production environment only after proper testing and verification setup export and import process help you migrate setup data from one instance to another there are two distinct methods are available in cloud for migrating setup data first of all you have, you can export and import an entire offering or any of its functional areas in this method setup data of the business objects associated with the offering or the selected functional area is migrated second method is export import an implementation project so in this method setup data of the business object associated with the implementation project is migrated so either implementation project or functional areas as a subject area you cannot combine the export and import process of these different methods when an offering or functional area is exported that setup data can only be importing using the same offering or functional area again when any implementation project is exported the setup data can only be imported using implementation project based import there are some how to prepare environment for migration the, our environment here is a test environment and production first of all when exporting and importing oracle vision application cloud revision of post source and the target environment must be the same must be the same revision level source will be test target will be production test uh, production instance some, some setup data may not be supported for automatic migration through export and import so when you review the setup task list and the task report from the offering page to identify the setup tasks that don't have associated setup services setup data of these tasks require you to migrate them manually to production using an alternative method so some of them you can also import data from test to productions as manually ensure that all setup data is thoroughly tested and verified before you import in production environment if export and import processes aren't available for any setup data and you enter it manually into the production environment ensure also that you created and verify the same data in your gold or test environments first before entering it into production environment either through diagnostics tools whatever uh, report tools you have to ensure that this data is already completed successfully without any errors in the setup or whatever before migrated to the production the data in both the environment must be exact copy if you enter setup and data manually into the source environment either gold or test as applicable as well as into the target environment either test or productions and later use the export and import process to migrate the same data the import process may fail this happens because these records are rarely an exact duplicate of each other in both environment by the logic you already migrated some of data either functional business object or offering manually then you using export and import from test to production for the same data so it will be duplicated 
When exporting setup data using implementation project, export only one offering at a time. As you know that we have a lot of offering, whatever you subscribed, either financials, supply chain, HCM. If you are going to make export and import, it, it is recommended to export only one offering at a time. Each time, only one offering. Use the scoop value to limit the volume exported setup data. Scoop is particularly user useful when you are migrating only the incremental changes to the setup data after you completed the initial deployment of an offering to the production environment. Source controls the exported configuration package files to keep a history of setup changes that were applied to the production environment. After you export from test and import to productions, you can make a, a, compa make a comparison between whatever in, in, in the imported files and the exported files to check if there are any changes happened or if there are any differences between imported file and exported files. Consider running comparison to the setup. This is the setup what I talked before. Don't ignore the tasks you must perform before and after import. You must migrate their data manually, otherwise setup data in production remains incomplete, causing error during transaction processing. If you are implementing multiple offering at the same time and importing their setup data into production concurrently, then you must import this offering in the same sequence as specified in the following diagram. Before to see the, the diagram, what is the rules it must be assigned to your user or whatever? First of all, export import functional setup user or ASM underscore functional setups user abstract and application administrator rule. Export and import setup data through configuration packages, as you see here as a source, it will be like test, environment, or gold. Target, it will be production. You are just exported from test, configuration through configuration packages, then upload it to the target as a production. Create and verify setup in test in instance. Create new setup in test in instance. Ensure the setup is fully verified and validated. Once verified, setup data is ready to publish to the production. Again, if you are going to export a data either functional subject area or whatever offering one by one, just check it verified and validated here before exporting. Once you validated, exported through configuration packages, then importing and uploading in your target in instance, in this case, it will be production in instance. How to perform concurrent implementation maintenance in Functional Setup Manager? Again, if you are concurrently implementing more than one offering at a time, you should adhere to the sequence given below when importing this offering into another environment. Why? In order to prevent data dependencies issues. What is the sequence? As you see here, first as a family, whether it's CM, finance, CRM, procurement, project, blah, blah, blah. So sequence, as you see here for the family, HCM, workforce, again, compensation management and workforce development for the financial, financial, fusion accounting hub, HCM again, CRM and C procurement and continues until GRC as a risk and the controls. So again, in this case, you have to follow this sequence if you implementing more than one offering at a time and you should or you are going to export and import the setup data of this offering from test to production. Export and import setup data setup steps, it's again, that configuration packages, through configuration packages, you will export from this test in essence and import it to the production. Configuration packages are applicable or available in Functional Setup Manager, can be used during an implementation of an Oracle 
ERB Cloud project to export project structure and setup data between environments as long as the source and the target environment are on the same release version. Again, before you export any reference data, execute the enterprise structure diagnostics report to identify potential issues with the configuration you plan to export. As you see here, if you log into Oricon, select whatever the offering you are going to export the data setup, just select manage configuration packages. Let me get into application. I'm logging here, just go to setup and maintenance. Here you select whatever the offering you are going to export the setup data of it. Then go to select the here. You can create your implementation projects or you can or copy or export the data of existing implementation project. For example, if you are going to manage configuration packages, if you select it and try to create one export data, you here the system will ask you which implementation project you are going to export the da setup data of it. If you don't have or if if, if another way you can create a custom implementation project for a specific for example subject area for a specific offering through just click cancel and click done just go to again here in the list of the task and manage implementation projects in manage implementation projects you can select it or you can create a new one just give it name blah 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 and next here you can select the offering which you will make export the data of this offering either subject area or whatever this is the list of our offering you can select specific offering and also under specific offering you can select a specific subject area like expenses uh, fixed assets intercompany revenue management blah 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 next and save and submit and done and once you select whatever you want from here just click cancel and again come back to manage configuration package to select whatever the project or implementation project you created before so this is the how to manage configuration packages once you select whatever you want here for example this As you see here, there are two options. Are you going to export only setup task list or setup task list and setup data? By default, this is option is selected. If you are going to export only setup task list only, you have to select this option. Just click next and here select object for export you can also select whatever the object if you are going to select a specific object not all you just come here and make this select all select whatever or select all this is up to your requirement and also here you can search by manual data loading whatever you can also here reset sequence you can again but by the end you have to ensure that the export option is selected for the objects which you already are going to export the setup data of it then just just click next after that you can click submit once you submitted again we will come back to our slides again this is the same whatever the project whatever the object you are going ensure the export option is selected and here the system will give you acknowledgement warning once you got this you can click yes and click on the refresh on the monitor down down area it's the status first will be not selected after that or not started after that the process will be completed successfully as you see here or completed in error 
If completed in error, you can easily identify the specific problem area by reviewing export results report. You can take action to resolve the issues and again rerun the export process from the beginning again. Once the reference data export process has completed, you can from the action menu select download to review it the result or the, the process result report or log file in excel format to understand the status or the data that has been exported it also from the actions menu that you can need to download the configuration package to use for import in the target in instance as you see here this is an import or from these actions you can see whatever the process result reports or log file if I can again once you set up the process will be showing here and either e completed in error completed successfully and you can check the report before you imported in the next uh, instance which is production again once the sport reference data area is complete you will have spread configuration packages that you can import in a target environment so this is how to export either specific offering specific uh, subject area next step how to import these packages in the other environment which is will be production in instance Export generates a data XML zip file. This will, or that you can download to your computer. This zip file can be uploaded and imported in the target instance. To start the imported process, again, you can go to manage configuration packages and instead of export or create new one, you just click on upload. Once you click upload, the system will ask you which files you just browse and select the downloaded or exported files you exported before then once you selected ensure that you selected the proper files then here you can click on get details to check once you selected this is and make it submitted you can go ahead and submit the file for the upload and it will show in the search again result area for the manage configuration packages UI you can check again the status of the upload in the export and import process table at the bottom of the UI as a user interface as you see here what is the configuration package details and what is the implementation project details Here the configuration is already was uploaded or successfully uploaded. So it's also maybe uploaded in error or whatever. You can also check the setup or the log files to check where is the problem and again resolve the issues and again start the process from the beginning. And here this is enter or the import process that by the default import process pauses each time it encounters an error so you can take corrective actions before import continues it's recommended approaches you keep the checkbox both process each time an error occurs checked to migrate any risk of import failures as you see this during the import this process it every time check if there any error or whatever uh, to give you the chance to resolve the problems during importing the process in the second step of the import process you can filter also again data objects by manual data loading or whatever to identify which setup object need to be configured manually because as I told you before that the importing data either manually or just automatically through the exported files which you exported from the test instance so here also you can manage which data or subject area 
will be manual data loading and this again in this area it will give you which is pause or whatever for example this reference data set data access for the type manual data load it will be pause it will not all as you see see here the option select pause for external import once you selected and whatever the data will be manual or automatic and they select the post process and they click to submit the system will give you here as after you submit it will give you a warning message by the system if any configuration has to be manually entered before the import process starts if you have configured the required setup then you can select yes to proceed with the import once the import process has been submitted you can monitor the status again in the export and import process tables within the manage configuration packages ui the process may pause with the status of the user action required which means manual configuration of some setup objects are required you can again drill down on that status to view the setup object but you need to filter by the object subject user action required once the status of the import process is completed successfully you can drill down to verify that all setup data was imported successfully you can again filter on the status user actions required to double check that no further manual configuration is required and thus the data has been successfully imported in the target instance again if you need to make any diagnostic details if i come back to an instance as you see here again from the diagnostics you can make setup and maintenance and for diagnostics you will you have to assign diagnostic uh, rules to you your users and then you can find here a diagnostics diagnostics tools to check the setup of a specific uh, modules like fixed assets payable blah 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 in your uh, test instance check the report of these diagnostics once you find everything is verified and validated you can start to go to again to manage configurations or setup and maintenance and check or start to you to create either configuration packages or manage implementation projects So what is the next steps here how to compare before to compare again you can come go to manage configurations to upload we as i told you just click on upload the system will ask you where is the files the files or configuration packages which you already import exported from the test in essence here you will select it from your computers and start to select the options to pause and select whatever the subject area will be uh, manually uploaded or whatever and submitted and again check the status in the down areas here as a UI user interface to check the status of the import process either completed successfully or error or warning uh, blah 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 so what is the compare compare you can compare offering setup data during import compare between the data or the setup data for again for specific objects or offering between the data which i exported from test and the data which is already uh, importing or are going to import in the productions you just select the offering and select whatever the subject area as you see here for example the payment just click on this arrow and export create create new then during the import or import just click import and here you will find waiting for comparison review ensure yes then again what is the import in case of you are going to import just click create new for the import process and ensure yes and then select the exported files from test to imported and during 
importing you can select the compare setup data barrier to import here you can ask the systems before importing these files which i already exported from test 2 production before be, be, please make a compare setup data barrier to import this is a very 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 important setup step to check that everything is the same because we said that the data must be exact copy from test to production so how to ensure that the data is exact copy through this option to compare setup data barrier to import once you select this option in import options you just click on this options to give you the options select compare setup and then submit once you submitted and import the data it will give you return later to view the result okay and again once you click in payment and import you can waiting for comparison review after that this is the comparison uh, result a comparison summary the status is completed staging waiting for comparison before you may continue to import so this is a pre-step for importing you make a comparison between the data whatever you exported from test and the data you are going to importing in production and also here you can find this instances only or all data or whatever this pregnancy or only in configuration one as a test in essence in both with mismatches and only in configuration two configuration two is a production configuration one in test and the total here in both with match in test and production you can also download it from here to check if there are any this pregnancy between test and production and here is a total object compared total object uh, field with comment object with data only in configuration one two and in both with data mismatch here again you can also select all identical only this print is only or whatever you want to make a comparison between the data which you exported from test and the data imported to production Generate setup data reports. Setup data reports are generated automatically every time you run an export process by using an offering functional area or implementing projects. You can also generate setup data reports for an offering or functional area without running an export process. However, this option isn't available for implementation projects. You can download and use these reports to verify the setup data as it exists in the environment. You can also save the report as documents of the state of your setup data at the time of export. You can also generate setup data report and download them for reviewing. You can download consolidated report for all exported business objects or a report for the specific business object. Again, go to my enterprise setup and maintenance select your offering and resources shared export here each time offering or functional area is exported a report is generated automatically based on its setup data at the time of the export here once you click on export as ready for download click on it once you exported and generate setup data report as you see here the reports what is the manual tasks what is the reason business objects how total object of external loading completed with errors how many total objects blah 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 this is generate setup data reports how to generate it after you exporting the data as you see here the business objects what is the business object names what is the status details and what is the exclude or whatever the status for each of these objects and what is the status for this report or exporting offering it's, is it completed successfully or it's warning or completed in error here you can also select or specific business objects and go to these actions and download setup data report to check 
the setup data for a specific object business object as you see here this is one example after I downloaded you can find what is the lead manager flag in active flag what is the room name created by what uh, last update by and rule type switcher and whatever this is for example as trading community results rule setup is do for specific subject area there is one question is it possible to export functional setup manager data using csv or import currently this feature is not fully implemented there is one enhancement request in this number it's need ability to use csv export import in functional setup manager but at until this enhancement is implemented and configured you have to use configuration packages as i show you before that import export it from one instance and import it to another instance i hope now to got the overview of how to export and import setup data that you have to environment and you are going to export the setup data from one environment and import it to another environment it's not like before in e-business you whatever you did it in test you again start from scratch to do the same in productions this is easy tools to just copy the configuration from one instance to another instance thanks for watching